In this video of Express, we are going to have a look on the dynamic routing. As routing thing is already done, we'll see if I want to pass some product ID or maybe product name like things in the URL and we want to take some values from that parameterized URL, we see how we can do it. So let's see practically how we can start reading the parameters from a URL. In order to bind a particular value with the URL, what I can do, I can just pass a colon symbol which will be like a named parameter and here as you can see right after this root I have passed an ID with the colon that is it is a binder which will be having a value and to read that particular value what I can do since this particular value would be passed by the time you would be making a request so request.params.id ID is whatever you will pass here so if I will execute this particular program and will pass any number or string that will be read by this particular property called request.params.id. So to execute that, let's first of all start the processing, like let's execute the program by node command. And as it is started, as I have not passed any message in this program, so the server is already running. Let's open a browser to see, make a request and see whether it's working properly or not. And here, right after this, if I'll pass any number like 120, so the ID you specified is 120, all right? So since I have not passed any validation, so I can enter anything and that will be read, all right? So this is how you can start reading a single value. Similarly, you can pass multiple values as well. Like here in this program, after the root, first of all, I'll pass a parameter named name and then after that I will pass an ID. So ID and name both are being read here using request.params.id request.params.name. So uh, let's see how this program will look like as the server is already running. So let's directly come to the browser to make a request like anadi102. So ID is 102 name anadi. Alright, so that is how you can pass multiple values as much as you want like in the URL. But if you require to pass some format also like a regular expression like thing ensure, which will ensure actually like a particular type of value can only be passed. So for that right after this ID or any particular parameter name you will pass the regular expression like thing. For example here in the parenthesis what I have done is 0 to 9 means I'm just looking for the number and how many numbers a five digit number so let's execute this program so here if I'll pass anything like any string it will say cannot get if I'll pass any number it will say cannot get but if I'll pass any number of five digit then it will print you the message alright so using these regular expressions right here right after this parameter name you can actually pass some formats also which you are looking for.